Alexa, give me a look at news update. Hey, Philip, here's your news. In news Maine. After a bad dive at Old Orchard Beach, Dylan Woodhouse was told he had less than a 10% chance of ever walking again. A spinal cord injury left him paralyzed from the chest down. Now, 14 years later, the father of two is getting ready to walk in the Boston Marathon on Monday. A journey of literal blood, sweat, and tears with medical innovations help. The Center News Vivian Lee shows us more from Kingdom. On a hot day in the summer of 2010, a dive into the undertow of the ocean changed Dylan Woodhouse's life. It drove me down. Um, my head hit the bottom, and um, I kind of just saw white, and um, realized I couldn't move my leg. His friend pulled him out of the water to safety. Dylan was then rushed to the medical center where he underwent surgery. Dylan had a fractured C7 vertebrae, causing major trauma to his spinal cord. When I wasn't able to move anything below my chest, it was really scary. Dylan's sister, Destiny Lucia, vividly recalls hearing the devastating news. This surgeon basically told us there's a less than 10% chance that he's ever going to walk again. The family did not tell Dylan until a month after his surgery. Instead of leaving the hospital in a wheelchair, he was able to walk out on his own. His sister was working at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital in Boston, and she advocated for him to start therapy there. He spent five weeks doing therapies that involved cutting edge equipment. They had me hook up with robotic legs that helped my, my legs move in a proper way. Mm -hmm. I feel like that helped me get back into motion. Regaining enough motion and function to take the plunge at the annual lobster dip in Old Orchard Beach the following January, with his physical therapist from Spalding, Sherry Callahan, cheering him on. Dylan also got married to his wife, Jeannie, and now has two children, a five-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter. In April of last year, he participated in a month-long study at Spalding's Inspire Lab, where scientists develop and test technology to help patients heal. As part of the study, doctors stress a spinal cord patient's nervous system, including administering different doses of low oxygen, similar to high-altitude training, to promote healing along the spinal cord. Patients work on gait training and tests, and Dylan saw more gains. I feel like it helped like lock in the place, like the motion I learned. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. This year, Dylan set his sights on another goal, participating in the Boston Marathon. Destiny ran most of the race in her brother's honor in 2013, but didn't finish because of the bombing. Before he heads out in his training walk, he straps on a biodesk device on his left leg. It provides electric stimulation while he walks. And it helps with the high foot, so I walk in a more normal gait pattern. Dylan, Perry, his former therapist, planned to walk the first 17 miles together. His sister will join him for the rest of the race. The brother and sister team have raised more than $7,600 for Spalding Rehab, preparing for the big race, motivating his kids. What I want to show them is that they can do anything if they put their mind to it. And inspiring others facing unbelievable odds that anything is possible. In Kennebunk, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Alexa, stop the news. Alexa, give me the forecast for Lewis Domain for the next seven days. In Lewiston for the next seven days, Friday, 58 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny weather. Saturday, 62 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Sunday, 63 degrees and lots of clouds. Monday, 67 degrees and cloudy skies. Tuesday, 58 degrees and showers. Wednesday, 69 degrees and lots of clouds. Thursday, 62 degrees and rainy weather. Alexa, give me a sports update. Here's your sports update. In basketball, yesterday, the Heat defeated the Celtics 111-101. to Heat and Celtics are facing off on Saturday, April 27th at 6 p.m. In baseball, yesterday, the Red Sox beat the Guardians 8-0. And the Red Sox and Cubs face off tomorrow evening at 7.10 p.m. 